ඒක ඒක All right, thanks for joining everybody. Just raise your hands and I will get you the mic. Keegan? Oh, Gregor bit you. You're losing it, buddy. <laughs> Charlie, it had been a bit of a battle over the first couple of weeks for, for Bichette at the plate. Um, what do you think about him picking that moment to, to kind of bust out? You know, actually, uh, I was uh, talking to Guillermo Martinez today during BP while the while ball was hitting, and he said he, he, he made an adjustment on what he was doing. And, of course, the first couple of bats were tough on him, but he hit a hard ground ball to second. And when he does that, I said, okay, that's who he is. You know, he, he lets the ball deep. And then, of course, to hit that, that bomb, is, it's only not good for us, but good for him. Like, he's, he's, he's almost back. We'll ask him this, too, but what, what type of adjustment did he make to, to kind of come around? So to when, he, when he's good, as you guys can see him, uh, he's, he hits a lot of line, hits the ball to right field a lot. And when he, when he struggles, I mean, like many people, he pulls off a lot, you know, so which means he chases balls in the dirt and stuff because it's pulling off. But when he's good, he lets the ball travel and he's the ball to right field, which is almost what he did in the last at bat. Uh, Charlie, further on Bouchette, um, how have you noticed him over these last couple of years making adjustments like that with his swing, uh, both physically and mentally? I never, I never uh, from experience, I, I never panic or anything for 60 at bats or 70 at bats, whatever, because people's got track records. So, I mean, everybody struggles and some people have slow starts, others have good starts. So I, I never, I knew it was gonna be fine. And, and he made the adjustment today and that was good to see. And on uh, Berrios uh, setting all that up with his day on the mound with seven plus there, uh, what did you see from him? Well, first of all, that was huge because as, as you guys know, and you, go, you were in my room today, bullpen was thin. So uh, for him to do that, that was big. And early on, it seems like they were taking good swings at him, but then he made a great adjustment and, and, and got him out, and he, he, was, he was huge. Charlie, as we talked before the game, you guys have played so many close games. Uh, you know, when you start looking for some of this breathing room for some of this offense, you know, is Bichette one of the guys you're counting on to kind of help space out some of the score, some of the margins for you guys? You know, uh, at the end of the day, and I, I know I keep saying this, but there were close games because the plays we made. Like the Tapia play, keeping uh, the guy at, at first base. I, I thought it was Bogarts that hit that, that ball in the, on the line. The SP play, uh, of course, the uh, Springer play. So when you're playing close games, you got to make all those plays, even more against good hitting clubs. And then we have been doing that. And, of course, our pitching has been really good. But, I mean, if we keep doing that, we're going to be in, in every game. And you know, it's, it's funny because it's never easy because you don't want to use your closer, but all of a sudden, you know, people get on and, and you, you use them, but you gotta give Meriwether credit for, you know, finishing that game and not using Romano. And, or, and also Kirk has been really good behind the plate and the numbers show too. And just, uh, do you guys have any sort of definitive word? I know you placed him on the injured list, definitive status of where, where, what happened with Kevin? Is, did, did, that, did you get a positive test back? Can you share any of that? Actually, I don't think I'm supposed to talk about that. So I'll double check. I'll tell you later or something. I don't really know. I mean, and of course, he's, you know, he's not here. Is that what you were going to ask me, Ken? Oh, go ahead. No, I was just waiting. Um, <laughs> on the uh, Springer catch, uh, Charlie, what was your view of that and what that did for the game? Well, my view was that it was going to be a double, and then he... He got to it. That was, you know, he, he's done that play before. He did it last year, and he had to reach, reach out the whole way. So it was one of the best plays I've seen, besides the one he made last year, kind of like the same. Uh, knowing you're a man who appreciates a, a good bunt, the Zimmer one to keep that one going. What was your view of that? And that it was, it was too, big play, big play. Because even if he if he makes an outage, man on second base with Springer and Bo, you know, all you need is one run. So it, it was big that, for him to do that. Not taking credit for that, he did it on his own. All right, thank you everybody. All right guys.